What's up guys? It is Alex, also known as WWE Rocks 2423 and I am back with another YouTube video. And today I have a pretty special video. Um I am going to be making or I'm going to be um picking out my top 30 favorite WWE superstars like action figures from for like this year and I'm gonna pick some that aren't from 2018 so it's just like the ones that I like the most out of all the figures that I have so far but it's only gonna be 30 so yeah let's just get right right on to the first person um, alright, so I actually made it 40, 40, 4 zero, 40 people, just because, um, I, I had 48, and so I just added two other guys that I really liked, and so, yeah, we're just gonna go with 40, so, forget about me saying 30, we're going with 40. 40. So, yeah. Alrighty, so number 40 is going to be. <laughs> this guy right here. Alrighty, so Jay Uso is going to be my number 40. So. Um, I chose him because he is the better Uso. I'm not doing both because the second one just wasn't really the best. Um, but I think he has a better face scan and, or head scan. And so, yeah, I chose him for number 40. Next, 39. Number 39 is actually going to be a diva or a women wrestler um it is the walmart exclusive which came with the smackdown live um champ or women's championship title was becky lynch um i like her because for one i have a walgreens like right up the street from my house so i can just go and pick them up and plus the head scan is really good like if you have seen Becky Lynch you'd know that that's a good head scan so on to number 38 number 38 is going to be none other than the gentleman Jack Gallagher just because he has it looks just like him he's got a bunch of details and I loved I loved his head scan with his hair and then the little mustache. And just because he is a pretty awesome dude in real life too. Or like in wrestling. And he came he came with an umbrella, but I'm not showing all the accessories just because I'm not gonna dig through my whole accessory bin. Um but yep, there is number thirty eight. So, number 37 is, I'm pretty sure, Elite, like, 40 or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Sammy Zayn, right here. No, I think this one isn't the Elite 41, but it's, it's, I forgot. Tell me which Elite, this Elite line this one is in. And then... The other ones, there's a Walmart exclusive, the Becky Lynch was, and then Jack Gallagher or Gallagher um, was Elite 56, I think, and then Elite 54 was Jay, and I forgot what line he was in, so tell me, but on to number 36. Number 36 is going to be TJP. Or TJ Perkins because he came with a medal 
a cruiserweight medal and the cruiserweight title, which is not on him right now. But and all the details, they're just amazing. And I need cruiserweight figures because I just did. And I love his head scan, his spiked up hair, and I liked when he was like this, not really like heel like he is now. I don't really watch the cruiserweight division that much, but when they were on WWE, I kind of had to because I watched WWE. But also his feet, or his shoes too. But yeah, um, on to number 35. Number 35 is none other than, or he is part of the club, he is Carl Anderson. And I chose him just because he's an amazing figure. And he was in Elite 56. So, yeah. On to Elite. I mean, Elite. On to number 34. Now, number 34 is actually going to be a custom. Um... Number 34, I don't remember what Elite the original was from, but the head scan was from, like, Series 80-something, I think. Tell me in the comments again what Elite, but this is Luke Harper, and it comes with the vest. It came with the vest, but I swapped the head because he has a longer beard and longer hair. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, on to number 33. 33. Number 33 is going to be from Elite 54, Bray Wyatt. Because he, okay, this is all I'm saying is because he, I mean, this is a big update from his old Elites. Like, he has a way better head scan it looks just like him. I mean, look at that hair. It's got some red there, some green over there, and some white. And all the tattoos and stuff. And so, um, yeah, that was number 33. On to 32. Number 32 is going to be my only person from the New Day. Because a lot of other people were better. I'm sorry. But my favorite from the three pack of, from WrestleMania, the three pack in the Bootios box was Kofi Kingston. Just because his hair is hilarious. And I would have picked Xavier Woods, but I like Kofi a little bit better. Plus the details on his shoes, too. And stuff like there's wings on his shoes and all the detailing and yeah so now on to 30 uno 30 uno 31 30 number 31 is going to be uh he he used to be the I'm pretty sure the general manager of Smackdown Live um or the commissioner or whatever, but it is Shane O'Mac or Shane McMahon from Elite 50. So um, I picked him because he is just, this is just an amazing Elite, and I mean, he's like, his legs can spread really good, and just the head scan too. A lot of these are because of the detailing and the head like how well they look and stuff. So yeah, number 30 now. Okay, number 30 is going to be The Miz. And no, it is not just because the head sculpt. I love the blue color and it doesn't really look that blue um, on the screen. But it is actually a bluer color. Here, let me put it in kind of like the light. It's like a navy blue. But that's pretty much why I like this Miz. 
I had an Elite just like it with a white attire instead of the blue with the uh, same face or head sculpt. And yeah, but I like this one a lot more because the blue and blue is my favorite color. So yeah, on to number 29. Number 29 is going to be Jason Jordan from Elite 59. No, 50. Crap. I think 58 or 59. Actually, I don't think from 59. I think it's 57 or 58. Uh, comment down below because I forgot. Um, so number 29 is Jason Jordan, and now 28, 28 is going to be Big Cass, because when this figure came out, I was super excited, um, my friend got me it for my birthday, he spent like $50 on Big Cass and Enzo Amore, for me, which was amazing. Sadly, Enzo Amore is not going to be making this list just because you never really see him around anymore. But yes, the seven footer Big Cass has made the list for number 28. Now, number 27 is Show Off Dolph Ziggler. And his head, I'm, I mean, this head sculpt, though, is just amazing. How it has, like, the, the little blonde strips in there. I mean, it looks just like him. Like, look at that. Does that not look like Dolph Ziggler? Like, seriously? This looks like Dolph Ziggler. So, yeah, um, Dolph Ziggler is number 20. 27, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 27. So now on to 26. 26 is going to be none other than the Claw, Claw Machine Master, or the, um, hold on, let me see if I can actually find the box. I'm pretty sure I kept it, but I don't, I don't know, hold on, hold on, guys. Nope, can't find it, so... Number 26 is the Claw Lover slash YouTuber slash, um, you know, you know what, just, this is a custom, I fixed it up to make this an elite, but it is none other than WWE Rocks 2423 or Alex, and that is a ginormous head I know for this body but I honestly don't give a crap because it looks amazing and there's some red designs up there and that the white I kind of want to make the white blue because that would be awesome and maybe those but yeah I'm gonna maybe Maybe you have to find a bigger body for this, but I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. Comment down below what you think about my own action figure. Because doesn't that look like me when I had short hair? I mean, I mean, look. <laughs> like, that looks like me. That, I mean, okay, whatever. Number... 25, I'm pretty sure, is Rusev is number 25 um, because he came with a really cool jacket. It has a little Velcro thing right there, and he has, like, the hairiest chest in the world, which I am not the biggest fan of, but also his bun fell off, but I don't care because now it looks like a... Rusev right now because he actually cut off his bun in real life and now has short hair And so I kind of like that. I'm just gonna have to color over that with brown Or something like that like paint over it or something 
But yeah, um, next is number 24. 24 is going to be from Elite 57 or 58. Again, I don't know. Chad Gable. Now, I love this figure because it came with a really cool headband. It's in my accessory bin right now. So I don't know where that is right now, and I'm not digging for it. But his shoes are really awesome. And I forgot to show you Jason Jordan's sick shoes. But, yeah, um, his shoes are really cool. And it's like a red, white, and blue theme, too, this whole figure. And gold, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> but, yeah, now on to number 23. 3 is none other than the Celtic Warrior, Seamus. Where in the heck has Seamus and Cesaro been? I don't know where the heck they've been. Let me know in the comments if you know where they have been. I honestly don't care that they're gone, but I just want to know where they've been. But this is a sick attire. This is my first ever Seamus Elite like, that has the mohawk. So, yeah, I'd say it's really, really sweet. Um, so, yes. Now on to number 22. 22 is going to be from Elite 57, I'm pretty sure. Which is Baron Corbin, or the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin. Or, um... What do they call him now? I forgot, but Baron Corbin. One is Luke Gallows. He is Finn Balor. Because it has blue, which is my favorite color. Dean is the low blower, <laughs> is what I call him. Shinsuke Nakamura from Elite 57. Dean is the SummerSlam Elite Dean Ambrose, because you cannot have a favorite list without my favorite wrestler, Dean Ambrose. 17 is another SummerSlam elite, Seth freaking Rollins, with the red attire from SummerSlam, of course, when these two won the Raw Tag Team titles. 15 is going to be James Ellsworth. 15 is going to be... One half of the deleters of world. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Matt Hardy with a broken arm that can pop off. Yes. Alrighty. Teen is going to be Tyson Kidd, which I just got. Thirteen is going to be Tyler Breeze. 12 on this list is going to be Samoa Joe from Elite 56, I'm pretty sure, yes. 11 is none other than, no way, Jose, no way, Jose, yes, no way, Jose. This funny, number 10 is actually going to be the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Number 9 is Kevin Owens from the WrestleMania Elite. He is going to be the big dog, Roman Reigns. 7 on my list is going to be Zack Ryder from Elite 59. 6 is the exclusive Goldberg figure is going to be Bobby Roode is going to be the blue AJ style burn it down Seth freaking Rollins the King Slayer really fast the last two is going to be Kurt Angle is number two yes the figure I just got is Randy Orton which is going to be number one so thank you for watching like subscribe Comment, goodbye.